Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from VitalCoaching.com. We are talking about breakups for men, how to get your power back after she breaks up. And we are now checking the dynamics of your inner game. And the specific question I want to cover is, should you shift your aggressive inner self-talk that you might have about her? We are talking about anger. When anger is rising in your system, what do you do with it? So I want to inspire you to understand really what anger is. Anger is a freeing force. It's an energy that rises through your system that is a liberating power. Imagine that you're contracted, right? That you have, you feel tension, you feel contracted, you feel angry or you feel blocked, okay? And then there is this energy that starts rising through your system. It's a little bit like lava rising to the core of a volcano and expanding you. And so anger has a very positive liberating power. It's not always like that, but very often you will feel like it's actually a liberating thing. This is why sometimes when you are in a tantrum or we, when you are in anger zone, it will give you a boost of fire and a boost of energy. And sometimes this is something that you want to cultivate. And so, when you have a negative self-talk about her, you know, in the form of an energy arising, the negative self-talk might just be an ex expression of this liberation. I no longer want her in my life. I'm going to go and date other women. She has been, you know, um, yeah, doing stuff to me that I can no longer take. I don't want this. I don't want this to happen. I'm out of here. You know, and it can be very dynamic. So the negative self-talk is not necessarily a negative thing. It's just a reaction of your anger rising. And then it creates, in the moment it impacts your mind, in the moment it impacts your brain, this freeing energy impacts on your brain. It creates just, in the canvas of your mind, it creates the thought processes that appear as negative thinking or negative ideas or feelings about her or about your relationship. And so when this anger is rising, you can actually let it, let it happen. You can let it rise. There's no need to block it or contract it or believe that you should not be thinking like that. It's energy being digested. Now what I encourage you to do is not to crystallize that anger, not to take action based on that anger. Allow it through your system, but don't take a vindictive action to get back at her or to hurt yourself or to publish shit about her on your Facebook or other social medias. <clears throat> witness this anger, witness this rage or, you know, thought processes going through you and then allow them to simply be released. And you will notice that after a while, maybe after a day or an hour or maybe a couple of weeks or maybe even a month, you know, you might notice that this Anger feelings are tame. They, they kind of naturally dissolve in your system. And then some positive thoughts or positive feelings might start uh, rising again in your system. And so what I'm telling you here is that the passing feelings or the passive emotions or the passive thoughts that you might have about your ex, the passing emotions um, are not permanent. These mindsets, these feelings will keep on evolving. And so rather than blocking what's alive there, you can allow it to simply happen. You can allow yourself to feel these things without feeling guilty or shame about them. And then simply let them be released until you feel that there is naturally a new set of patterns of thoughts and belief systems, maybe more love, new, new feelings, new positive feelings rising through your system that are going to shift your mood towards something else. But the idea here is not to block it. It's not to contract around it. It's simply to let it flow through your system without taking any form of negative action that would create a snowball effect or that would create an escalation in the conflict that you might have with your ex. I hope this makes sense. I'll see you soon.